Hey everyone, I'm Tenny Panosian from MissMaven.com and I am here with Allure at the Urban Decay headquarters and I'm so excited to go in there. Never been in there before and there's some amazing goodies to play with, including the brand new Naked Smoky palette. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Urban. You ready to go on a tour? Let's, let's go. Do it. Obviously we have like a purple problem. It's not a problem. Naked Smoky. Naked Smoky, girl. You guys, let's go play. I am here with Wendy Zomner, the founder and chief creative officer of, of course, Urban Decay. We like to make everything inspirational, right down to the bathroom. So I think you went into the Alice in Wonderland bathroom with the grass tile. We have, we have full naming sessions and they go a little into the gutter before they come out clean enough to actually make a palette. The latest creation here at Urban Decay is the Naked Smoky. This is an amazing palette because you really can create almost any smoky eye with it because we've got a variety of shades, mm -hmm. textures, colors. The packaging's a really funny story. I always wish that my parents were cool enough to have a smoky glass coffee table in their house. And they never would. And every single one's different yeah. because it's injected with the smoke as we make them. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go over and try a couple of smoky looks. What do you I guys think? Wait to right? see them on you. Yay. Okay, so now that I've got the naked smoky in my hands, I'm gonna create two smoky looks for you. One is a warmer daytime look and the other is a cooler nighttime look. So the first thing I want to do, of course, is apply my eyeshadow primer potion. And what I like to do with this is just put a little bit on my ring finger and just go into my crease and start pressing that in. Blend it into the brow bone and then just give that a second to set. So the Naked Smoky palette comes with a double-ended brush in there. One is a blending side and the other is a smudge side. I'm going to take that blending side first and dip into Combust. This is a nice pale neutral shade. And I'm gonna go in just above my crease into the brow bone. I'm just gonna blend that out in circular motions. And the reason I'm doing this is because any darker shade I build onto it is just gonna blend that much more easily. So this is sort of our base shadow. All right, next up, we're gonna apply what's called the transition color. This is usually a neutral brown shade that goes right into the crease. So I'm gonna stick with that blending side and dip into whiskey just with the tip of that brush. And then I'm gonna start right at the center of my crease and I'm actually going to divide that color between my two eyes. And then just start blending again in circular motions. Now that we've got that crease nice and defined, I wanna move on to a little bit of a shimmery color. So I'm gonna take this flat shader brush and I'm gonna dip into Dirty Sweet. And this color is gonna go right at the center of my lids. If you highlight at the center of your lids, that's where it's going to catch the light the most and make your eyes appear nice and wide awake. And now since I'm working with a pale shade, I'm going to add one more color that's even lighter. This is going to be high, which is the very first color in the palette, and just apply this right at the inner corners of my eyes. This is just going to add that nice highlight. And for the final step, I want to add a little bit more shimmer to this look, so I'm going to go back to that blending brush and I'm going to dip into Radar a nice neutral shade but it's got that hint of shimmer and I'm going to use that to blend together that lighter and darker shade. So this is going to be right at the outer edge of my lid. This is just going to add to that smoky effect but still keep it nice and neutral. So there you have it, a nice and easy, very simple and neutral smoky eye that you can wear in the daytime. And now I'm going to move on to a more dramatic, cool smoky eye. So once again I'm going to reach for my eyeshadow primer potion. I'm just start pressing that into my lids. And next up, I'm gonna use that same brush and dip into Whiskey and work that shade right into my crease. And the easiest way to blend really is in small, quick circular motions. And so I'm gonna blend this from outer corner to inner corner, keeping it moving the entire time. So something to keep in mind with a smoky eye is just start lightly and you can always build. It's easy to add, but it's pretty hard to take away. Now I'm gonna move into some cool tones. I'm gonna take this flat shader brush and I'm gonna dip into Slanted. And with this color, I'm just gonna go into my lid and start loading it up with that ice blue. So this is pretty much going from the inner corner and blending out toward the outer corner. And once I've got that color on, I wanna go back to that blending brush and just blend out the line right at my crease. So again, with this color, I'm sort of pressing it into my lid as opposed to swiping, just so I get a nice, rich color payoff. And once again, going back to that blending brush and just making sure to blend that crease. 
All right, it's time to move into some drama. I'm gonna start adding some darker shades, starting with dagger. So I'm gonna take that smudge side of the brush that comes in the palette and just dip in a dagger. And then I'm gonna start right at the outer corner of my eye and start pressing that color in. So once again, we're gonna take that blending side and just start blending the edges, being sure not to diffuse the color too much, just the edges. So once again, starting at the very outer corner and dotting that color on onto my lid and curving up into the crease. So again, once you've placed that color, you wanna go back to that blending side and just blend out those edges. I'm gonna go back to that flat shader brush and I'm gonna dip into this color called Armor. Add that right at the edge of that color that I just laid down and then blend inward toward the center of the eye. Now to get the full smoky eye effect, I'm gonna hit that bottom lash line. So I'm gonna go in with that smudge brush into armor. In a back and forth motion, I'm just gonna add that color to my bottom lash line and immediately go to that blending brush and just blend back and forth. It's a very simple step that adds a lot of drama. I like to take an angled liner brush and actually I'm gonna dip into Black Market and I'm taking the Urban Decay setting spray and I'm actually gonna give that a spray or two. And because it's wet, it's going to sort of act as a liner. So I'm just gonna go into the outer part of my lash line and start loading up with that nice dark color to really define the lash line. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom lash line just to add a little bit more drama. You see that really made the difference. It really makes the eyes pop. And now finally, I'm just going to finish off the look with a little bit of mascara. You definitely want to hit those bottom lashes as well. So that's it, one palette, two smoky eyes. Let me know down in the comments which one you liked better. And of course, subscribe to Allure. And while you're at it, why don't you check out my channel too, youtube.com forward slash Penny Panosian. Um, I think I'm gonna just keep on playing with all these goodies. <laughs>